for the man of the magic, Neutral. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Real World Magic. Yes, I know. Hello, hello. And welcome back to Real World Magic, where we make your life more magical. My name is Neil Trigger, I am going to be your magical host, and today we are going to be making some shrunken heads, which you've probably seen in the night bus of Harry Potter, which is awesome. Uh, now, they do not, they do not look like this, because this is something that I was trying earlier, um, and this is kind of a, I guess a voodoo doll head. It's got a little seam at the back, which I think is kind of cool. Um, but this is not what we are going to be making. We're going to be making we're going to be making something a little bit better than that. Um, so I've got all of the stuff laid out, and if you've seen the live stream from yesterday, um, then you'll probably notice that there are um, th there were some technical difficulties. Let's put it that way. Now I'm wearing my King of Farts T-shirt. I probably shouldn't because it's probably going to key it all out and. Um, make the green go invisible and all of that sort of stuff. But we do have some really cool stuff that is now going to be, hopefully, I did test it this morning, hopefully going to be working when I press this button. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! So this is my sort of second camera setup, and this is where I'm going to do, be doing all of my magic tricks and that sort of thing. But today, we're not going to be doing that. So I'm going to be getting rid of my close-up mat. I know it's a little bit jumpy, so I'm sorry about that, but hopefully it will at least give you an indication of, of what's going on. The second thing I wanted to talk about, let's get rid of that one for a second, and deal with the elephant in the room. Now, I, again, I don't know whether you can, uh, don't know whether you can see this, but I've actually got a bit of a lump on my eye. I don't know why. It might just be stress or it might be tiredness, but I don't think this channel is terribly good for my health. <laughs> Um, it's a lot of stress, but uh, hey-ho. Um, so, let's just nip on over to the chat and say hello to everyone. I always point down there because that's where it is on the video, so you'll see the chat sort of down that side. I have to turn this way because that's, that's the orientation. So let's get rid of the elephant and say hello to everyone. Um, we don't have a huge amount of people at the moment, but we do have Honey, who I know your internet connection really isn't very good. Um, so she keeps on popping in and out. So she's not right there right now, or at least I don't think she is. Uh, Charlie's here though, Charlie Montez, hello to you. Um, honey Hin Hatet, I think, Hnin, Hnin? I can't pronounce your name, I'm really sorry, but Honey, hello. Um, and Charlie Montez is in as well. Um, there's quite a few of our regulars who aren't able to make it today, they have already told me. Um, so hopefully Chivalrous Tube, as long as he wakes up, he was up ridiculously early this morning because <laughs> um, he messaged me about half four. Um, so yeah, I think he's probably still asleep. And my darling wife is off having her hair done because it's kind of the first opportunity for ladies to get their hair done in this country at the moment because of lockdown and all that sort of thing. So she's having her hair done, having a bit of a treat day. Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about was this little thing. You'll like this, trust me. It's called... Yeah, it's called Let's Draw... Uh, you know what, I'm going to turn up the uh, bass volume. Let's do this. Let's, Let's draw, draw this. this. There you go, a little bit louder. Um, and it's basically... We're going to head on over to a different screen right now. Because... Ooh, hello. There you go. Because here in the creative space that I've created, I'm going to be drawing things. And it's going to be a new feature on my channel called... Let's, Let's draw, draw this. this. And the whole idea is that I ask you guys for some words and then I start drawing things on my iPad. And hopefully at the end of it, come up with a really decent image that we can put online and give away to members and things like that. So. I have here. Booyah! Yeah. Um, this is an image that I'm creating at the moment. It's still not brilliant, but it's okay. Um, hopefully you can see who it is and what it is supposed to be. The whole idea is that this is Severus Snape, or Severus Snape. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm adding texture at the moment to it, which is why you know his hair looks a bit more hairy, I guess, and all that sort of jazz, so that's cool. Um, so, uh, let me just show you some of the things that I'm drawing at the moment. So, I've got this one. 
Come on, load up. Uh, this one is Santa Claus likes panty drawers. <laughs> so it's a little silly little um, cartoon that I'm I'm drawing. I guess it's like for a postcard or something. Um, and it's just a guilty looking Santa Claus. He's um, yeah. That's probably a little bit wrong. I'm also drawing something for Halloween as well. So this little guy, it's not updating. I don't know why. I'm sorry about that. Um, it should do, but is that actually working? No. I have a funny feeling that OBS Studio really doesn't like me very much. <laughs> oh, man! Oh, I know. Let's try Booyah! that. Booyah! Right. That's... All right. Well, that's not going to work either. So, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, Chivalrous Tube is in the house. Hello to you. Um, I'm just showing off the new iPad setup, which clearly is not working, and I don't know why. Um, it's a bit frustrating, if I'm completely honest with you. Um, I'm just going to close down one of these programs and see if that actually solves the problem. It probably won't. Uh, stop that. Let's try that again. Let's get rid of the iPad. Oh, man! Oh, no. And let's try this. Right, here we go. Um, let's do this again. Booyah! Yeah, there we go. So this one is a Halloween image that I was working on a couple of nights back. And it's basically a jack-o'-lantern going trick-or-treating. Uh, I'm going to have to draw in the street and properly render it and actually make it um, not quite as silly as that. Honey's back again. Hello. Um, so I've also got things like this. This one was done for um, the Cauldron Pub, which is a, a wizard themed pub that I've invested in. And they wanted some magical herbs and stuff like that, for like a poster so that they can put it on their wall and show off all of the magical things that would traditionally be used in potion making. So this one's ginger. I've also got some garlic as well. Um, come on. This is a little bit laggy, but um, it it gives you the idea. So, the, it is ginger, correct. Um, this one is um, this one's garlic, and I've got some other stuff in the works as well. Um, you'll have seen this sort of thing before, probably. Now, this is a basilisk. Come on, open up. There we go. Everything's untitled at the moment. I, I just haven't actually done it properly. <laughs> um, so, these ones I'm, I'm drawing at the moment. And then there's a garden gnome, which I don't think I've shown on this channel before, but this is what it looks like. Come on, load up. There we go. So this is what it looks like. It's the garden gnome that I've drawn. Now, if you, I don't know whether you will notice it, um, but those eyes are actually mine. The nose was totally made up and not referenced to mine, although it's large. Um, but that nose looks a little bit more broken. But that mouth is also mine. Um, I took a photograph and sort of used that as a reference. Everything else, cool. Um, you also draw that. I'm not sure what you're drawing. What, ginger? Cool. Um, so yeah, I've got a whole load of different stuff on there, um, and I'm also working on some Christmassy things with Santa Claus and things like that. So, let's get rid of that again. Oh, man! I know, but this is going to be called... Let's, let's draw, draw this. this. Yeah. So that's going to be a new feature, and it'll probably be on my main show, I guess. Oh, you draw, you draw snakes. Cool. Um, snakes are notoriously difficult to draw, apparently. I was told that my, by my brother, who's a bit of a uh, herpetologist. Ooh, good word. Um, and, uh, yeah, he's, he's really into his snakes, and he breeds snakes, and he actually, um, he, he bred a new type of gecko, and um, it's now attributed to him, which is kind of cool. I think it's some sort of ghost thing. Uh, the word ghost is in the name of the title of the, uh, of the albino gecko Thing. I think it's got transparent skin or something. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, um, moving on. So what we've got is, let's head on back to the dungeon. Okay, so uh, as I normally do, if you do want to support this channel, please do head on over to realworldmagic.net um, where you can join... Um, that's too loud. Uh, where you can join this channel and um, you get lots of really cool, awesome stuff um, included in it, including, and this isn't just for, uh, this isn't for joining the website, but you can also go to patreon.com where you can get awesome, awesome things like this uh, for free. So Patreon members get 
all of these as downloadables. They can print them themselves, they can frame them up, and they can um, show off, basically, <laughs> I guess. Uh, so these are my awesome Patreon patrons. They're wonderful, wonderful people. Um, and they help me out every single month. They help me to make this thing possible. Um, the amount of stuff that I've got both in front of and behind the camera um, is insane and it cost me a fortune so every little helps with this sort of thing truly um, so I'm gonna get rid of that awesome! oh no wrong one <laughs> let's get rid of that so if you wanted to uh, also have a look at some of my other merchandise there's a King of Farts t-shirt which I'm sporting actually at the moment which looks like this and then there's also the hoodie, which I want to buy, but I actually haven't got one of these yet. So I'm definitely going to get one of those. Anyway, that's enough of plugging my crap. So <laughs> let's go on and start making stuff. And the really cool thing here is that... Booyah! Yeah! Oh, no, yeah. So uh, I'm going to be making stuff down here. And hopefully you guys can see it. So the whole idea is that we're going to be making a shrunken head. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to basically take a... Uh, a whole load of tin foil, uh, which is, did I not bring it up? That would be stupid. Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. Duh. So uh, take some tin foil like this, and hopefully that's not too loud. Okay, now all we need to do is just crumple it. Just crumple it into a gentle ball like this. Oops, almost lost it. <laughs> just crumple it into a ball like that, roughly to Sort of almost the size of a head, but not kind of the right size. Oh, sorry. Have you started working on the heads? No, I have not. <laughs> this is me starting working on the heads. So hopefully you guys can see this and hopefully it won't lag too much and hopefully it won't sort of break or anything like it did last night. Um, so once we've got this to roughly that sort of size, we're going to take some clay, some polymer clay, and this is the type that I have. It's called Super Sculpey Original, and this green band here is green, not invisible. Because look, I can, you can see through my head if I do that. Whoa, what's going on there? Um, that's just green screened out, but it is actually green. So if I put it here, you'll see the true colour. That's what it looks like. And that's one of the reasons that I wanted this, so that we don't always have um, green screen. So, I see clearly, awesome. Um, so in here we have sort of pinky flesh coloured stuff. Now I've also got a pasta maker down here. Whoa. I've got stuff everywhere honestly. So the pasta maker kind of looks, I might have to move this up, up a bit, there we go. Looks like this sort of thing. And we've got here a handle. Oh no, that's not the handle. <laughs> Where's the handle gone? Have I knocked it off again? Oh, there it is. See, I was tidying up, trying to make sure that everything was uh, totally sorted for this, and it doesn't seem to be. So what we'll do, we'll put that in there. Uh, you probably can't see this terribly well, but let's see if I can squeeze it through. There we go. All it does is just flatten it out into a single sheet of clay. Then we'll take that very thin, because uh, this is like super, super, super thin, like really thin. Um, it probably shouldn't be quite that thin either. But then just cover up the uh, the tin foil in a similar way to previous videos that I've done about this sort of thing. And you basically just skin it, you add the skin back on. Don't worry too much if it's crinkly at this stage, because we're going to be covering it anyway. Um, but I just want to get a sort of base layer on here before we move on. Because what we are going to do later is to get a really decent wide layer of thin clay and we're going to basically drape it over the skin and then press it in with our fingers. Now I do have some um, sculpting tools but the problem is I've, I've got a wife who likes to tidy up and I have no idea where she's put it and because she's at the hairdressers at the moment I can't ask. Um, which is really quite frustrating, but there we are. Never mind. Right, so that should be 
roughly the right kind of size. The other thing I wanted to do, I wanted to get like a, a reference picture. So while we're over on, I should probably add it to here actually. One second, let's see if I can do this. It might, it might crash, but let's try. Let's hope it won't. Okay, if I go to there and then to there, video capture device, exist, whoops, existing and iPad. Let's see if this works. It may not. Um, oh dear, that's not good. Okay. Nope, not start recording, come on. Start broadcast, there we are. Now, currently, I'm just offering free advertising <laughs> to people. All right, there we go. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay, I'm going to try and put myself in front of all this stuff. How do I do that? There we go. Okay, let's try this. I'm going to get rid of the TV for a second. And I'm also going to get rid of the witch because it's annoying. Okay, let's go over here to A4. Now, I just want to draw something on here just so you guys can kind of see what I'm planning on doing. So let's move that around a bit. Um, and then what I want to do, oops, I'm still getting used to all this tech. <laughs> so. Okay, what I want to do is to draw, um, sorry, is, is to have a kind of a, a head kind of thing like this. And eventually, what I really want is like a frame to go around it. And the frame would have, I don't know, maybe some sort of embellishment at the top. I'm not quite sure how that would work. Maybe something like that. Okay. Bear with me, guys. Hopefully you can see that. Hopefully it's, is that too light? Yeah, it's a little bit light. Okay, I'll press a bit harder. I might need to adjust the settings on this. Um, I also want another one on this side as well. So this kind of thing. And then... I'd normally do a much lighter touch than this, by the way, but this is sort of... This is quick, and I also want to be able to show you guys what it will look like. So hopefully you'll you'll kind of see that. Okay, what I want to do is to put almost a, a spear sort of thing through here to s stab them all like that. And then they can all be sort of... Hopefully you can see that. Um, they can kind of be I don't know, this sort of thing. Although I might just sew up their eyes, what do you reckon? Yeah, a little bit too light. Yeah, it's because I'm I'm not pressing hard enough. I, I tend to do it on quite a um a light touch. Um I don't know, I might do see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil, something like that. Um so I might do, I don't know, this sort of thing where its eyes are all sewn up. And then Something like that. And then uh, probably, I don't know, something like this. And I'd probably swap that one for that one and vice versa. So, um, that one for that one. Yeah, so that's that's the sort of thing I was thinking of doing anyway. Um, only two people watching now. I guess Charlie and Honey have uh, probably been disconnected somehow. That's a shame. Um, so that's the sort of thing that I want to do. And let's see if I can get rid of this one. I might need to just do that manually. And then bring up the... Booyah! Yeah, the TV again. Okay. Hopefully it's not too difficult to cut through the tinfoil without ruining the head. Well, this is the thing. So what I wanted to do was to actually pierce this um, once it's done. Hopefully it won't be too difficult. And if it is, I might just drill through it.
Um, I could drill through it on a very sharp, very fast bit, which hopefully wouldn't cause any kind of problems um, and not press too hard. So that's what I'm kind of thinking of doing anyway. Um, and maybe drill through it a couple of times. It's, it's an attempt. It's, it's an attempt. Um, the other thing I did want to talk about very quickly is the Magic Competition, which is for 3,000 subscribers. On, um, I'm, I'm going to be giving away some free magic, so if you want any of this sort of stuff, I'm going to be giving away a copy of Rift by Cody Nottingham. Lovely chap. Um, and also he's invented a trick where you can drag a signed card through a window by your teeth. Very cool trick. Um, I'm also going to be giving away... Um, one of these. Booyah! Oh, not one of those. <laughs> one of these, and it's a um, a money catcher. So what this does is um, it's got a little magnet there with a little um, elasticated reel, and you clip that to your belt. You palm this, and I'll show you how to do that in a video tutorial. Um, it comes out, grabs some money, and then goes back again. And I'll show you all about how to do that and all that sort of thing. So it's, that's kind of cool. You can do it with any kind of metal object as well. Um, so that's really neat. You've also got, um, let me see if I, I've, I'm sure I've got one of these. Yes, I do. So what we're going to be doing, this is kind of cool. Hello to whoever's just joined. I don't know who you are, but um, welcome. I'm going to see if I can change the angle on this a little bit. Oh, that's not a good angle for me. Oh, what a blob. <laughs> So, I'm going to show you how to make a coin disappear. Now the trick is that you never work alone. You see where the coin is just there on the, on the palm of my hand? You need to seek a little bit of fairy help. Come on. Oh, there he goes. There he is. <laughs> okay, so you can see that trick as well. Um, and I'll, I'll show you how to do all of that, that's, that's cool. Uh, the other thing I'm going to be giving away as well as part of this magic haul is... Uh, actually, I'm not going to show you that one because that kind of gives away what it is. But let me see if I've got one here. I do. I do. Awesome. Right. Let me show you this. So there's nothing in my hands. And then you reach into my hand. Oh, blimey, can't quite get it. There it is. And there it is. An appearing handkerchief. And yet, if you put that back into your hand, like this, I'm going to have to do it fairly slowly so that the, uh, the camera can catch up. You push it back in like this with all of your fingers, and then you can go... And it's gone. Isn't that cool? So I'm going to be showing you how to do all of that sort of thing. I can give all of that sort of stuff away. All you have to do is join at realworldmagic.net. And um, that's it. Easy peasy. Uh, OK, so let's get on with making this thing. Because that's really why you're here, isn't it? Right. What I need to do is to get more of this clay. And again, doing it in front of a uh, computer probably isn't the best thing to do, but you know, it's it's what we're going to run with. Why does that keep on falling out? That's so annoying. Shall we shall we put some music on? Let's put some music on. What do you reckon, Matt? Is that too loud? Okay, so I'm going to take a strip of um, on the plane. Yeah, that's far too loud. Let's drop that down. There we go. We'll take a strip of polymer clay like this. Oh. That trick didn't work on my 16-year-old cousin. I don't know which trick you're talking about. If you're talking about the disappearing hanky, quite a lot of people know that one. Um, but yeah, never mind. Right, I'm going to put this through the pasta maker and I'm going to do it on a thin setting now. And the reason being is because we want it kind of... Oh dear me. 
We want it all over. So if we have to wrap it twice, then that's cool. Don't worry about it. Oh, there we go. So there's lots and lots of thin spaghetti. It's not spaghetti, it's like, I don't know, pasta, I guess. And then, okay. So we'll put the head inside and we'll just wrap it up. And this is like kind of making a ravioli, I guess. And then over again, and again. It doesn't need to be particularly accurate, um, but it does need to fairly uh, squash out nearly all of the uh, nearly all of the air. So, and we're going to be smoothing this over. So don't panic. Okay. All I want is just a, a foil core, that's all. But we also want to be able to build up the features a bit as well. You know what, I think I'm going to turn down my own microphone and my own speakers a little bit. Okay. Is that on a loop? Yeah. Let's loop this one. Hopefully you guys can hear that. I like this music. Um, okay, so we're just going to squash that down a bit, like this. Okay, and then just give it a roll in your hands. I, I think I'm going to change um, the angle of this camera as well, because it's um, I don't think it's the best angle for it. I really don't, which is a shame, I think. I'm on a mobile and it sounds good, awesome. Yeah, I've been working on all of this sort of stuff for quite some time, trying to make sure that I, I constantly improve. And I'm not sure I am, but hopefully I am. I'm guessing 11am on Friday, uh, sorry, on a Saturday, Independence Day, people have got better things to be doing uh, than watching me making shrunken heads. I mean, what's better than that though? That's cool. Okay. When I get my own man cave, like proper man cave, not just a green screen dungeon. Um, you know what? I think I might move this. I don't know. Oh, I think I've screwed it. <laughs> Let's do this. No, that's not the right one either. Oh, you know what? I don't know. Okay, anyway. I did have all the tools to do this properly, but since I... Uh, I've lost them. And also a lot of these people who are going to be watching aren't going to have their own sculpting tools, right? So let me do this. Okay, all we have to do is just dig our thumbs in. Normally I would use a, um, a ball stylus for this, but don't panic if you don't have a ball stylus. All we have to do is just press in with our fingers and then take a little bit of extra clay like this and scrunch it together, roll it up like this. And then, I don't know, shall we do a comedy nose? Or shall we just make it fairly real? I'll tell you what we could do, and this is probably a better idea. Yeah, my second stream probably will be better. I hope so. Um, we'll look up shrunken heads and see if we can get some images from YouTube. Let's go and have a look. Not from YouTube, what am I talking about? Uh, from, let's do this in Chrome. 
Ooh, there we go. So I'm thinking, well, this one's the one from the night bus, isn't it? Is it? It looks like it. Yeah, uh, no, well, that one's clearly the one from the night bus. I think that one's roughly similar. So let's go for the one from the night bus, this one here. Um, okay, so what we're, yeah, we, so we are going to need to do kind of a big flary nostriled nose. So let's let's do something like this. Let's go back. I'm going to keep that image on screen anyway. Um, and I'm also going to load up on uh, YouTube on my iPad so that I can see what people are saying in the chat and see who they are and all that sort of jazz because I need to see as much as I can with all of this sort of stuff going on. I probably need an extra extra screen. Um, hello, honey. I think she's back. Is she back? No? Yes? No? I don't know. Maybe. Um, right. So what I would normally use is a ball stylus for this. Um, but since I don't have one right now, uh, where's it gone? Am I going to have to... Let's do the iPad. Oh, come on. No, it's not the iPad. It's the TV, isn't it? So we're going to have to go back in. Okay, I am I am starting to get the hang of how to, how to navigate my own system here. Okay, so we're just going to blend in the nose a little bit. And the best way of doing that is just to pinch at the top. And just blend it in with your finger like that. Okay, and just by blending it in at the top you can already start to see that it is starting to take shape a little bit, um, but what I would normally use is um, a ball stylus or sculpting tools. They're, they are an awful lot easier to operate with, but because I don't have any of those right here with me at the moment I'm going to be using one of these which is a um, paintbrush. So it's almost as good, not quite as good, because it's not quite as versatile, but let's poke some nostrils in the bottom there, and then we can also use that to blend in the bottom as well, because my fingers are too fat and I can't quite get to it. So let's just blend them in. And you can also use the flat of the paintbrush as well to roll. Now if you've got a, um, even a smooth stick would do this job, so you should be able to find something around your house that you can use to do this. You don't necessarily need sculpting tools. And I know that I spend far too much money on this sort of stuff. So if you can cut corners, not cut corners, but if you can work out ways of saving a bit of money, it's probably worth doing. Because there's always stuff to spend money on, always. Okay, I'm just going to try and flare out these nostrils a little bit like that. Okay, and just blend this one in a little bit. It doesn't matter if it's fully blended, um, because it will, um, yeah, your, your nose isn't fully blended anyway. As you can see around here, there's kind of a, a crease in here. Um, and it's not just because I've got a creasy nose, it's uh, everyone's nose is a bit like that. So let's have a look at that now. So that's looking pretty good, I think. It's probably, in fact, a little bit better on the side that I haven't blended properly. Um, maybe. I don't know. Debatable, I suppose. So I might just put more of an indent on the other side that I did blend and then just push it back. Now again, this is where sculpting tools really do come in handy. And in fact, I think I've got some down here. Maybe. In my paint box. Because I've got a paint box just under my desk. Don't ask me why it's under my desk. I have no idea. Oh, I do. I've got a couple of sculpting tools, so let's, let's use some of these. Uh, literally a couple. <laughs> Everything else, I have no idea where they are. Um, these are ones that I bought independently, whereas the, um, the ones that have gone missing are part of a set. So we've got some pretty awesome um, reference material here from the Harry Potter studio tour. Um, 
Were there any TVs during Hogwarts time? Don't know, but there were definitely <laughs> there were definitely um, wireless stuff. And actually, uh, there is even a PlayStation in the Harry Potter books because Dudley got one for his birthday. So there you go, little fact. Um, it looks like from the reference material, the shrunken head has its eyes closed. So all we have to do for that is just roll up. I'm going to get rid of that just in case I crush it with my hand while I'm doing this bit. Roll up a little ball like that. So this is going to effectively be the eye. And that's going to go inside the eye socket like that. Just press it down nice and firm. And then we can sort of blend in the eye a little bit. Not too much, because we don't want it to be like, um, like I didn't depress the eyes. But we just need to blend in the sides a little bit so that it's all part of the same skin. Like that. Because we also want the eyes almost a bit swollen as well. Okay, so that's looking quite good. And again, I'm going to use what I would normally use is like a um, silicon um, colour shaper. I think that's what they call them. Um, it's basically a silicon nib um, sculpting tool, and it just it's because it's a bit soft. Um, it's not quite as denty. The good thing about a shrunken head is that it doesn't really matter if it is a bit too denty or not. Um, my iPad keeps on going off for some reason, I don't know why. Yeah, there was actually a PlayStation. Dudley got one for his birthday. Um, yeah, PlayStations are old, man. I remember when I was still living at home with my parents. That was a long time ago. Um, my brother had a PlayStation. I think he even got a PlayStation 2. Um, while I was still living there. So, yeah, and I'm 40 now, so you can probably do some maths on that. I moved out when I was 22, 21, 22, something like that. Okay. To be honest, that's probably a little bit too much clay in the eye. So you could cut that off, which is, I think, what I'm going to do. Get a big, sharp knife. Be careful if you're a child or if you're an idiot. <laughs> either way, either option. OK. You still have a PlayStation 2. Wow. Might want to keep it. It's going to become an antique. <laughs> Okay, now that is one raised eye itself, kind of like it's swollen. The next thing to do is to get some sort of reasonably sharp um, sculpting tool. This one is not ideal because it's obviously got those ridges on it, but it will do the job. So what I'll do is just take, if you look over in the TV bit, take the tip of it like this and just gently press in all the way to make it look like that eye is closed. You don't want to drag too much because otherwise that could um, cause bunching, which isn't ideal. Okay, then once you've got the reference point for the eye, all you need to do is take a small, very, very small snake of clay. The best way of doing that is just to roll it like this in your hand. Really, really thin. And then cut it like that. Oops. And roll. I think for future sculpting tutorials, I really need to make sure I've got my sculpting tools. And then just put that over the top lid. So hopefully you guys can see that. And blend in one edge, not both edges, just one. And that way then it'll look like an, a lip 
to the eye. So it's like an eyelid, proper lid to it. And just blend it in at the corner there. And the corner here. Okay, so I mean it's a subtle difference, but it is a distinct one. So hopefully you can see that. I might just turn up the um, contrast on the TV, actually. That's probably a good idea. Um, how's that looking? I think that's probably a little better. Okay, so once you've done that, just do the same on the other lid, so the bottom one. For anyone joining after the event, because I know that um, there's only two people watching at the moment, we normally have a lot more people than this. Um, I think the people who are on at the moment will already know that. <laughs> <laughs> but I guess the time um, and the fact that it's all in American Independence Day and all of that sort of thing, um, it probably doesn't help much. Okay. I'm not going to do all of this on camera simply because I don't think it's particularly entertaining and um, or instructive to see the same thing done again. Um, so once we've done the top and the bottom eyelid it will look roughly like that which looks pretty horrible um, we then do the lips which for this one actually they they are kind of parted so I'm gonna have to paint these I think um, but we're gonna have to make them pretty big because they are quite swollen and large um, I guess that's what happens when you die I might just make a proper video on this as well, not just a live stream. I think a proper video might be better. Um, now this one is slightly wonky lips as well. Okay, and that's far too large. But um, what we can do is to cut them off here and there. And again, taper them at this end and then blend it in at one end. We'll need to gape um, the mouth open a little bit and we'll also need to paint inside the lips. So the painting is always the most fun bit I think because that's when everything just comes to life. And like I said before I think the fact that it's a shrunken head it's the texture on it it doesn't need to be perfect in fact it's probably better if it isn't perfect and so you don't have to worry too much about making this perfectly blended but you do need it roughly right mainly so that it adheres properly and it doesn't break off in the in the baking of it because I have had things like that happen before and it's really not good okay How's it working with the um, with the second camera, by the way? Is that better, do you think? Um, I mean, I think you can probably see more. I'll need to change the angle, I think, because um, I'm not entirely convinced it's going to be... Um, yeah, I'm not entirely convinced it's perfect. But. Okay. And the same for the bottom lip again. Blend that in a bit.
<laughs> okay, and you can start to see it coming to life now. So that's his eye and that's his lip, uh, or both lips and his nose. And then just do the other eye as well. And then um, you can add some string like this, either for its hair or to sew its eyes up. Um, you've got to be a bit careful with using this because when you do bake it, it needs to be 115-ish degrees for about 15 minutes, according to the manufacturer manufacturer's instructions. All different clays do differ, so read the instructions specific to your clay. Obviously, if you've used the same as mine, then that's perfectly fine. Um, I'm just going to head on over back to chat again because my my iPad has gone off once more. I know I do know how to change this. I just haven't changed it, which is my fault. So let's enter the passcode. Don't use the phone as the webcam because it's too laggy. You're absolutely right. However, there is a different way of using the phone as a webcam as well. So I might do that instead. Um, those lips going to make me act up. I, okay. <laughs> I know what that means. Um, probably me if I was doing DIY stuffs. I'm not sure what that means either. Like a chameleon man. Yeah, he kind of is at the moment. Um, but I'm sure he will look awesome in the end. Um, so I've I've got some of this um, some of this stuff already done. I'm also going to finish this one. I'm going to finish it off camera though. I think. Um, because I need to pick up my wife. <laughs> she's, she's hailed her taxi, so I need to go and pick her up. Um, but thanks ever so much for watching, and if you haven't already, I'm going to get rid of the TV. If you haven't already, please do like, subscribe, ding that bell to be notified of future uploads, and I will see you in the next video. But that's it for me from, from me for now. I always get that wrong and I don't know why. Um, that is it from me for now. Thanks ever so much for watching, and I will see you again. I'm probably going to be on uh, tonight at around about 7 o'clock. That's the plan anyway. So let's get rid of the witch. Uh, no, actually, let's get rid of that one. Um, so if you do want to support me, go over to patreon.com forward slash realworldmagic where I make a whole load of awesome stuff such as this, which is awesome. It even says it's awesome. And you can also join at realworldmagic.net where you can become part of my mailing list and you'll see some fantastic stuff being sent to you for free. So I'm going to be back tonight at 7 p.m. I think that's what it says. Yes. Uh, no. Oh dear me. Right. One second. I will be back tonight at 7 p.m. Let's say 7 p.m. There we go. UK time. Saturday 4th of July. So until then. Oh. <laughs> Keep on pressing the wrong button. Until then, as always, stay magical. Stay magical. Stay magical. Stay magical.